In this video, we will go over how we can accurately create an arc that is tangent to a circle and how we can also do that with a line. Um, so I have a file here where I can see that there is an arc and if I check the dimension, I will see that the dimension is correct. Um, so we wanted that to be three and we wanted the outside radii to be six. Um, and you can see here the snap is getting in the way. Um, and that's the next thing I was about to talk about. Um, here it is. Um, so you can see this is the correct uh, radii for the arcs, but if you have a close look at it, you can see it's not it's not perfectly uh, tangent. So it is accurate, but it's not exactly what we wanted. So the question was, how, how do we get this arc to be perfectly tangent to a circle um, and, and finish it off, you know, close off everything because here it's not trimmed. Um, but we, we will look at that uh, very quickly. Um, so the first thing we want to look at is, um, I will just reveal some objects that uh, I had hidden. Um, so I have two circles. And uh, let's delete the previous, previous circles that we had. OK, so you have two very clean circles. If I look at the points, they're just default circles. And uh, what if we wanted to make a line that is perfectly tangent between this one and this other circle? Um, so the simplest way to do it is going under your curve line and do a single line. So if you do a single line, you will see up here you have additional options. And one of these options is to do something that is perpendicular. And the other one is to do something that is tangent. So the first thing I want to go over is how we can easily overcomplicate things. So you will see that you can set up a regular line that is uh, tangent. So let's say we create a line that is tangent and we want it to connect to a circle. We don't know where that circle is. We could technically do this. And now we have a tangent curve. Um, we can do things like finding the center and you know, we can line this up, so now it's straight, set up a line. So now we have a perpendicular relationship with this line and the circle, and this is perpendicular to this line, which means this line is always tangent to the circle. So this is basic geometry here. Um, but so using this concept, you could go in and rotate, rotate this line to be tangent to a circle and you could do it backwards too you could have uh, you could have this circle here and if I copy this circle now I have a circle that is tangent to the line and the line is tangent and it's also tangent to that other circle so that's that's one way that you could do it and I mean technically it works um, but we just made it so complicated right we created another circle moved it it's just it's a very strange way to achieve uh, something that is technically perfectly tangent but just very complicated to get there um, so instead using the same command the line single line and using tangent, you can simply make a line that is tangent. And you can see the O snap is getting in the way. Um, so when you do this, when you use perpendicular or tangent, it's usually best to disable the center snap. And uh, sometimes also the quadrant can get in the way. Um, so I would keep it just with uh, int which is intersection and uh, and that's it yeah and point point that should be okay um, and now you can click on this circle and then click on the outside of this circle now you can also click on the inner side and it will also give you a line that is tangent um, you can also click here and you would get something that is perpendicular um, so yeah so that's how you would do it that's the simplest way to make a line 
uh, tangent, tangent to one circle and a second circle. Um, so all you do is, again, you go under curve, line, single line, and here you make sure that you select the tangent option. And that's it, that's all. Now, if you want to do the same thing with an arc, what you have to do is um, use the curve arc, and you would want to use this option here, tangent, tangent, radius. And so you would click on the circle, and then click on the other circle, and it doesn't matter where it is, so even, even if you click here, it should still work. Um, and then you have to define the radius, so if I say, six units, that's what I want, six. Um, it will try to create a circle that is tangent. Um, yeah, in this case, it's way up to the right, so it's, it's still tangent, uh, but it's not where I wanted it to be. So let's delete that and go back, use the curve, arc, tangent, tangent, radius. And I will click on this side and then uh, somewhere up here will make more sense. Um, so let's click out here, and then a radius of six. And here it is. Uh, press enter. And here you can see you have this option where you can choose to make a circle that goes on the outside or the inside. So it depends on where your cursor is located. If it's located close to that curve, it will create um, only this section of the curve, um, but if I click outside of it, and more on the right side, uh, you will see it creates the complete other side of the circle. So I will go towards the curve, click, and if we have a close look, we can see this is the new curve, which is perfectly tangent to that circle and the bottom one. So let's delete the initial circle that was there and um, let's do the same thing on the inner side. So we can delete this, um, this arc, we can go back and use the curve arc tangent tangent radius and we can click on a point like this one, a point up here and now we want to change the radius size to three units. Enter. And again, you can choose. So you can choose for the arc to be on the inner side or the outer side. Okay. So now to clean up the shape, all you would have to do is select both of these arcs, use the trim command, and simply delete the side of the circle that you do not want to keep. And that's it. So now you have two arcs which are perfectly tangent to the upper circle and the bottom circle. So that's how you would do that. Yeah, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and just um, let me know if you have any, any questions.